Hello everyone. Today we intend to practice three important sounds in English. To practice these three important sounds, we have taken a P as the model. Many of you know that a P is the standard British variety of English, which is often used as a model for language learners. A P is actually received pronunciation. Roughly, people call it uh, King's English or Queen's English or sometimes BBC English. If you look up in authentic dictionaries, pronunciations are given using phonemic symbols, and these are called IPA, International Phonetic Alphabet. So we will use those symbols to practice these three important sounds in English. The first sound is O, as in hot. O as in hot. The second sound here is actually it's a diphthong. It's a combination of two vowel sounds. The first is a, and the second is u, and when they are together, it becomes o. O as in open. The third sound, it's a typical British sound. It is o. O as in water. So let's practice these three sounds in some words. The first is cot, cot. Second, coat, coat. And the third sound is coat, coat. Now the same word "court" spoken as "court," but it can be written in two different ways. You can write it like C A U G H T, which is the past tense form of "catch." And the same pronunciation can have another spelling, which is C O U R T. Both these words are spoken in the same way: "court." Let's practice now the second set. Clock, close, coat, not, note, naughty. Now, why is it important to practice these sounds? Because if you if you speak this particular word naughty as naughty, then it will be a different word. You are using this sound, naughty, and that is K N O T T Y. It's a naughty problem. So that naughty is different from naughty. He is a naughty boy. The next set is short, show, short, box, bone. Board, fox, phone, fall. So I hope it is clear now. The three different sounds. The first is o, as in hot. Second, o, as in home. The third, o, as in water. If you want more such videos. Please visit www.fluentlingua.com. Thank you very much.